My name is Henry Parada. I'm a cross-appointed professor at the School of Social Work and the Immigration and Settlement Program here at Ryerson University in Toronto. Um, I am the principal investigator of uh, partnership grants from CHURC, Social Science and Humanities, uh, which has a very specific question, research question, which is what are the factors that hinder or support implementation of human rights, children and youth human rights in three regions, three countries in the Caribbean, Dominican Republic, Trinidad and Tobago and Jamaica, and three countries in Central America, Guatemala, El Salvador and Honduras. There are several components of the process. There is the component of violence against children in itself, violent, different form of violence, physical, sexual, community violence, and as well as the component on how the institution are responding to the need of protection of the youth right when it comes to violence, but also when it comes to the immigration process, how the immigration institution, as well as education, child protection and judicial, are actually carrying on the, the mandate that they have in order to protect the children and youth rights in, in those regions. We are really, really interested in trying to understand the immigration dynamic outside of Euro North America discourse. Trying the best to do from the epistemology of the South. Um, and we're hoping the book is going to be coming soon, at the beginning of next year. Um, and besides, um, other members of the team are publishing regarding uh, the experience of uh, refugees in the last five years, the experience of refugees in Syria and other refugees. Also, the institutional practices from the settlement uh, field and the response to, to the need to, to those refugees. The first thing I really would advise it will be, you need to engage. And by engage, I mean, have a relationship with the partners in the South. Don't just land and take the data, do your research and leave. Uh, engage in, a, in as much as is possible in, a, in an equal relation in, in the way that both partners in the South and the North have an equal access to how organized project. Spend time with them. Uh, let their voices to be heard. It's, of course, not, you are not going to be able to reach unanimous agreement on, on some of the issues that you want to research, but at least you try not to replicate uh, neo-colonial ways that characterize the kind of uh, research coming from the global north uh, in, in relation to the global south. So my suggestion for you, number one, try to get a tenure first, Number two, establish a, a, an authentic relationship with the planet. Have a time to do it. Don't try to do it very soon. And the third one is um, have a clarity. What kind of relationship or what kind of research, what kind of study you want to implement in a way that benefits the people uh, uh, in the countries you're working more than benefits in the global north.